guys, it's me, Adam Deshaun here with another video. Um, so this video is going to be a little bit different. This is not going to be a nursing video. This is going to be a houseplant tour. So um, a few of you guys who follow me on Instagram kind of saw me saw me give like a preview of my houseplants because over the quarantine, um, I was like obsessing over houseplants. And I have accumulated several. So this is going to be a quick tour through the house of my house plant. So here we go. Yes, yeah, so we're going to start upstairs in my office area. And I hope I'm in focus because I've got the camera turned around. So I'm going to turn you around. Um, so the, this first plant is a, a snake plant. Um, I have not had her very long, probably about maybe about two or three weeks. Um, I have several snake plants throughout the house. Um, just because they are so easy to care for. They don't need a lot of light. They don't need a lot of water um, So this is my snake plant. She's not very tall, but I love her and she's in a little stand here Love her. So she's the only one I have upstairs right now. So let's go downstairs Be careful going down these steps because I don't want to trip and fall. That's one of my fears is falling down the steps at home by myself <laughs> so this is my sitting area, um, everyone. So this is a, it's called a yucca cane, right? It's a yucca cane, the, um, the species I think is Tracina. Um, so I've had her for like over a year now. And she like, all of these were like really small when I first got her, but now she's like blossomed over the um, spring and summer, so. Love her. She's another one that does not require a lot. Um, not a lot of water, but she does require a lot of light. So that's why she's next to the window. Um, so here is yet another snake plant. Love my snake plants. Um, this one was part of a bigger plant that I had to separate because the, it kind of stalled with the growth. Um, so I separated that. These little things, oh, this is so nasty. These little yellow things. So I did not realize that like, plants get what we call like gnats so like gnats started to like take over my freaking house and i was like what the hell is going on so um i googled some stuff and saw that you like uh, it's partic particularly snake plants and plants do have a lot of damp soil typically get fungus gnats so that's what those things are and you may see these throughout the house okay uh let's go to my pepperina pepper Pepper Romeo plant. I can never forget. I always forget the name of this plant. But I remember I wanted one of these for a very long time and I could not find one. So I went down to, we have a local farmer ma farmer's market here in Tennessee. And um, I went down, grabbed one, and she's grown like a whole lot since I had her. So, and she's sitting in my little sitting area, coffee table, next to this huge window that gets a whole, whole lot of light. Uh, let's move on to yet another snake plant. <laughs> I know y'all like this, you and these snake plants, like y'all, they are so easy to care for and they do not require a lot. Like, and this one is huge. This one has grown to be huge. See, I don't even have to sit it on a stand or anything. So yet another snake plant. Let me put on some light. Is that better? And a little bit. So let's start up here with my beautiful pothos. Um, those of you guys who um, follow me on Instagram saw me talking about these things, the pothos, because they're beautiful. They are yet another plant that is easy to take care of. So this is Mama Patho here. Had her, I've had her for like um, probably over a year. She's one of the first plants I started to get. So, and this is like her son, I guess, you know. And this one actually came from her. So she, this one, I propagated, pulled all the leaves off and let, you know, them start to grow roots and everything like that and planted her in a new pot and there she is. So um, I love my patho. Now, mind you, when I got my patho, it had no vines, right? Now look at how much, like I'm, a, let's trail her vines down. And this is just one of them. Like she has a vine going all the way, almost to the ground. And she has three very, very long ones. Like this one I've had to drape 
over some stuff. Like, so they grow really quickly and just very beautiful. And this is another plant that is fairly easy to care for. Doesn't need a lot of light, doesn't need a lot of water. Um, so she's kind of a no fuss plant. Uh, so let's move down. This is another um, pepperoni. I think, oh gosh, these, you plant people are gonna kill me if I'm not saying these names right. Uh, I think they call this a baby rubber plant. She's another one that I got at the farmer's market. It was really, really small and she's grown. So love her. She's been, I've only had her for maybe a month or two, maybe two months. Um, she's been fairly no problem at all. And here's my little misting, misting can. Uh, do, 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 do. So I'm trying to propagate yet another patho. So I've got this one in water, hopefully growing roots pretty soon. And I'm trying to also propagate this um, snake plant leaf. So she came from her. She actually broke off. And, and instead of me throwing it away, I just put it in water and maybe I can make a whole new plant from that. So that's the, you know, and a lot of my plants are downstairs because I don't, I have really huge windows in the kitchen and like in my technical dining room. So a lot of them are gonna be downstairs, okay? Let's move into the living room. So this is a beautiful, beautiful bird of paradise. Love this plant. Have not have had her maybe about a two months because I could not find one. Could not find a bird of paradise. Finally found one. And like I know that birds of paradise can get so huge. That's what I want her to do. And she's been doing very well so far. So this is my beautiful bird of paradise. Love you. Love her. Keep growing. I want you to get big. Yet another snake plant. Don't judge me. Yet another snake plant. Um, I need to figure out what's wrong with these plants. This is probably the longest snake plant I've owned. Had her. I've had her for definitely over a year and a half. And she is not really growing the way I think she should. So I don't know. I probably have to either. I think her. I think I need to repot her. Meaning I need to put her in a bigger pot so she can grow bigger. But because she's just kind of stalling. Let's move to the coffee table. So these are two snake plants that I got. They actually came from a bigger plant. Um, and I just put these two on the coffee table. So we'll see how they do. They're not close to a window, which this room gets a lot of light. My living room gets a lot of light because you got two windows there, a window there. So we'll see, we'll see. We'll see how they do. Uh, let's move into the bathroom, y'all. Now listen, don't y'all talk about my bathroom, okay? So, this is my latest plant. I just got her last week. She's yet another pot though, because they are so easy to take care of. So we'll see how she does um, throughout her life with me. So we'll see. Oh, and I forgot one more plant, y'all. Hold on. Hold on. The plant in my master bedroom is another snake plant. Uh, and I typically move her in and out of my bedroom just because this room does not get a lot of light. Even though it's got like this big window here, it's backed up to a lot of trees. So she does not get a lot of light. So she's in my bedroom and my bedroom does not get a lot of light. Don't y'all like my bed? Anywho, she's not, a, she doesn't get a lot of light. So that's that on that. Um, but... That's it, that's it. So I'm gonna go to a mirror to talk to you guys because I don't know how this looks. So that's it, you guys. Like, share, subscribe. Follow me on Instagram at Adam Deshawn um, and Freedom in This Village. Lo I hope you guys enjoyed this content. I'm sorry, let me, that is not discussing um, nursing. So we'll see, depending on how this video does, I'll probably make some more videos that has nothing to do with nursing. Um, so we'll see, we'll see. Love you all, bye.